Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I am the R Ingenious, but you may call me Eric and in the last episode we left off in um Woodman's Lee it's uh, not the right button. Let's let's look at the map. Look at the map. In Woodman's Lee. Wow, I got that right. There was a murder that happened here in this area. A, a an old fisherman got murdered. His wife. We um, talked to her a second ago. In this in this cabin, it happened, and we're going to investigate that next. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mister Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. What? Door. Door lock. Scratches. These scratches are fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Or the skill. What do you mean? Do you have the right tool? Yep, the key. What a terrible way to die. Well, I I guess there's worse than a spear to get to the gut though. Like like there should be. That does not look like an instant kill. Or is that a spear to the heart? Doesn't look like it. That looks a little, little low to me. Anyways, more important stuff over here. Here, sperm. The tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Anything weird? That looks like the outline of a box. Hey. I got that myself. It's not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book. A box or a small chest, perhaps. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Fisherman around Scandinavia. Dundee. Dundee. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. Yeah. In case he hunted whales. Very impressive. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Ooh. Important man. Harpoons for hunting whales. Heh. I know what's inside of him. Those are boots. Carries boots. They look to be a size eight. We're gonna we're gonna see if those fit. Um, uh, but Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. All right. So the those are a size eight. Let's see what these these footprints are. We do have the right evidence now. Well, do it very carefully. Those are too small. These boots don't match the footprints. Didn't need a Sherlock Holmes to figure that one out. Cool though. So those are the Well I don't know how to call that in English. Actually, I only we read my novels in German. Someone drank from this glass recently. Someone drank from this glass recently. He had two glasses here. Huh. Weird. Well, either he doesn't like to clean his glasses or he had company. 
The initials P.C. have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Uh, rotate, rotate. Ah, uh, okay. Well, do you want to open the rest too? Like, like, do you? Are you are you being serious right now? Ah. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. What? Rotate and move the elements to form a clear picture of ar aromatic associations. Smoking pipe. Drag. I guess. Tobacco leaf. What's that back there supposed to? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can drag that up and down. Or I can rotate. Ah, you, you want me to do? You ro want me to rotate the entire thing? Could have told me that earlier. Line those up well. That looks about right. No, it doesn't. This is more difficult than it looks. Okay, that looks good. Now we just gotta get this. I don't know what that's supposed to... Where that's supposed to go. In the waves? No, that's supposed to be the shifts. You want me to do it like this? That's almost it. Is that fine? Nice. Yes. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Oh, I wish I could do that. Remember a scent by, by friggin' imagining a friggin' like like friggin' 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 boat. Rum, a sailor's drink. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Maybe two. So, anything weird except for the dead body there? I, I think we're done here. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Okay. Do we see anything weird here? We see that. But nothing else. Okay. We're done. Wait, there's a dead man in the room. Pool of blood. Rotate the object. J H N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. <sighs> well, that's not Peter Carey. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Hmm. <laughs> Open it. Open it. These abbreviations mean something, but what? We'll find out. Why do you put all that in your hands? What's that? Plus one? Huh. Rotate the object in any direction. That's a blade. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. There's an this anchor. The handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Pierce chest. Huh, what did he die from? I wonder. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. If I wanted to kill someone, I would probably do the same. The weapon full uh, clothes. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. 
it is possible that he knew his murderer. This man is in his fifties, yet he still looks quite strong. Well, how do you... well, okay, fair. Got funny pants, got something, uh, something else that's going on. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Okay, wonderful. What do we got? Dialogue. A tobacco pouch made from seal skin, which was on the table inside Peter's cab and the initials PC, have been crudely burned into it. A sailor's work. Why do you have dialogue about those? And the wooden box. Ah, we, we're we going to have to talk to to the lady about that. What's with the... Uh, inspect Woodman's lead completed. I want to push B here. Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. Red color signifies an... So... Break in attempts. No gardener. Pinned to the wall. Notebook. Peter Carey's body was impaled to the wall with a harpoon through the chest like a butterfly. Heh? What's that got to do with a butterfly? Seriously. Okay, fear. Several unsuccessful attempts made to break in according to the scratches around the lock. Notebook. That's probably the weirdest thing we found. No gardeners. Well, Judith Carey says her husband took care of the garden himself. That does not sound feasible. She might be hiding something. So what if they had a gardener and... Well, I don't know. Uh, let's like the weirdest thing is the notebook I would say F1 for help nice red color signifies an unachievable clue combination notebook and no gardener why would I have like why would I make the connection of the notebook with no gardener maybe it's the gardener's notebook maybe it has information about a possible gardener maybe he met up with a friend of his and he uh, had that friend pin him to the wall. Maybe it's the, the, like, attacker's notebook. Maybe he noticed his notebook is missing and then he broke, tried to break in again and wanted to get his notebook back. That seems to be the most feasible thing right now. What? Draw a clear picture of the crime by forming your deductions from the combination... Oh. Some of the facts may be interpreted differently. You can always change the picture of a crime by choosing between mutually exclusive deductions or to form deductions from the combination of clothes track down at the guilty party. All right, we got that little um, nerve cell right here. Make a... What? Ha, huh. someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Organize an ambush? What? Organize an ambush with, with Lestrade. The mysterious intruder might return tonight to fi finish what he has planned. I don't understand what just happened. I wish the game would explain more. And I'm a dumbass. I click sometimes and then it's gone. And I want to read out everything out loud. Hmm. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why return tonight, when they will be better prepared? Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window. 
where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Why don't we talk to Miss Carey, Mrs. Carey again? Well, now it's is well, it's a widow now, so is it not Mrs. anymore? It is Mrs. I wouldn't know. Well, fair. Let's talk to the woman then. Dude, we're gonna catch that fucker. Uh, I just said that. No, we're we're talking in British here, British English. They don't have words like that. They have arsehole. That's one. But Sherlock Holmes wouldn't say that. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be, but he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Hmm. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. No, it is Thank not. You, Who could do such a thing? Husband. Well, that's a bummer. They took my stuff, but or or they took good, perfectly valid information. So what are we going to what are we going to do now? We need to find a good place for an ambush, perhaps behind Carey's cabin near the window. Well, maybe we go. What's with that window? This window is locked from the inside. I do not see any attempt at a break in. Can we just walk around a little bit? Just walk around. This looks like the perfect hiding place. What? Okay, fear. This is gonna be good. Do I got my gun? Gonna shoot its knees. Deduction space icon indicates that you have found sufficient clues to accuse one of the suspects. Boy. We only have one suspect right now, though. And that's his wife. And we wouldn't have a reason right now, except for he's a drunk and he's an asshole when he's drunk. Shh. Did you hear that? Ooh, hello. Hello, Mr. Gardener. There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Will I now? Police! Hold it right there. I'm right behind him. Okay. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't. I'm not... It's a terrible mistake. Enough. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. We don't need to. I saw his blister. It's right there in the dark. He has... Okay, open case book. Fair. Bunch. Complete it. Complete. Look at all that completion, man. That was pretty good. I think I did pretty good. What's that? Character portraits. Judith Carey. Oh, oh, look at all of that. Oh, we are not through the game at all. Woodmansley Knight, Woodmansley, Woodmansley, Woodmansley. Those are all the conversations we have had. We do not have any documents. Do have all of that. That guy does not look strong, though. Like, 
I literally just said a second ago, you'd need to be extreme. I, I now associate myself with Sherlock Holmes, evidently. Um, <clears throat> like he, he literally said you need a lot of force to, to like put a big harpoon like that through his body. I do not think that small guy did it. Small Asian looking guy. He, he doesn't look like he got that he got that kind of strength. Oh well, let's just let's just go. Interrogate the the um, the guy whose notebook we found. Are we gonna actually look at the notebook again? Let's let's look at that notebook. A notebook found at the crime scene with the initials H no, J H N. They are following abbreviations. Inside, ASM, TY, BRS, OMT, TK, RANO, JINT, CPR, KKCO, LW, POT, QE. Mm. I don't... I guess those are all the guys he knows. Carry... John Kerry? What was his name? I I can't find his initials in there. I guess abbreviations are initials? I don't know the, what the word abbreviations means. Sharp knife was something to talk to someone about. Okay, fair. Well, for the moment, though, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I will see you guys in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.